Sneakily Bastard. I'm doing the PC Linux OS LXDE, and so is the boot screen. Really nice, well, login screen anyway. And this is the latest release, it's their Christmas release, so it's got the new kernel stuff and extras and bits and bobs. It looks really nice on the desktop, well, I like it anyway. And it's one of the distros I would go to and use on a different computer. Wouldn't have a problem with it whatsoever. As you can see, on desktop, some nice stuff there. I've set up the file already. The OpenOffice Manager is just a section to download OpenOffice. It's not actually on the system. You don't actually get a lot with the XD version. So I've added some bits and bobs myself. So we've got a menu. We've got PC file men or PC men. Configure your computer. Configure your LXD computer. Synaptic, Firefox, LX terminal. Clipboard over there. There's my network. There's my volume for my sound, works lovely, and there's the cutoff bitty there, so that's all rather nice, isn't it? Go back to the menu, have a quick look, and just run through a few things. And as you know, with PC Linux OS, you do get quite a bit, so even though it's LXDE, it's not that particularly small. You get some nice stuff. I mean, for instance, if you get Screeny here, you wouldn't expect Screeny to be on there, would you? So I'll open up Screeny, and we'll just use it. I mean, it's there. It's nice taking desktop snaps, by the way, that's all right. So we'll click us for one, just click there, I'll just move my glasses, I can't see, so we'll click OK. It saves it to my main folder, I'm just going to name it something stupid like pick. You click OK, and you wait a little while, how many seconds do I want it to wait? Ooh, hang on, would you reckon? Or should just click it, would you reckon? I think I should just click two. There we go, five, five, one, and in theory, there we go, oh there it is. And there's my screenshot with screeny, very nice indeed. Not bad quality, you could do some work with that if you were using GIMP, etc, etc. So that's gone now. We'll cancel that and we'll go and do some more stuff. Not too much. So. Anyway, under graphics, just been there again. So, internet. You get Claws, Firefox and XChat. Office, I've installed Abbey Word and Numeric, And also you can see the OpenOffice managers there, not that you want to use it. Now, I've found on the different desktops on PC Linux OS that even though it's LXD, it's not particularly fast as some of the others. But again, it does come with a lot more stuff. But this is an old machine, it is really old, this one, so don't worry about it too much. Now you also get Synaptic, and you get Clementine. You know, that orange thing, that's Christmas, very good idea. Have a Clementine, I do like one myself. I don't like the pips, so apparently at the back side, I don't know, I don't like the pips. Well, there it is, it's on my bar. So we'll open them up, and it looks like a nice little music player, and you can just stream stuff as well, so that's really good. If I click on internet, you'll see what I mean. Last FM, some uh, Magnitude, Jumongo, Icecast, and you stream your own station if you've got a nice internet connection, which most of us won't have to stream high enough, basically. A little bit of a bum, but never mind. So anyway, under video, we get got Mplout and VLC. VLC I've installed myself, because it's the all-in-one, isn't it? And you get all them extra Cody Codies with it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, as, as it would be, that's nice. So what should we go to next? I know, configure your LX desktop. Now, it's a bit different, this one, isn't it? Look. So you can do lots of stuff here, but I'm going to set the wallpaper. So we'll click there. As you can see, we're on that one there now. So I'll just go and find one just to change it. So I'll just show you that it actually works. Rain. Excuse me. Rain will have, yes. Oh, that's terrible. Got a bit of a cold, sorry. Now the rain looks really nice, isn't it? I'll do that one from the classic ones. But you can also do these screen savers here, etc. And under your system, you can do other stuff, including install software. So you don't have to click on the bottom bar if you don't want to. But like, it's the same directions for different stuff, etc., etc. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was particularly nice, wasn't it? So I'm going to go into here, and I, so I have to put my password. So I want to configure my computer. And it's the PC Linux OS Control Center. So you've all seen it before. Well, you should have done anyway. And it's, it's easy to use. It's very, very well laid out, as, as it should be. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, chaps. Know what I'm saying? Don't change. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? So, yeah, what else can I show you? To make it a bit more interesting. Mm, well, we're getting near the end here, a little bit. I'll tell you what, we'll go to Synaptic and see how it installs stuff. Now, if you've used Synaptic before, and most of you would have done, it's easy peasy. But if you're new to Linux and you're just say you're using Ubuntu or something like that, you may be used to using the software centre. Now, Synaptic is a completely different way of doing it. Loads more stuff in there for a bleeding start, I tell you. So we're going to search from some files first. So we go, what should we put in? Record My Desktop. And that's one, if you're a screencaster, it's one of the ones you may use, or you may not. I've heard some people have been having a few problems with it. Not me personally, but others have. So is it in their repos? Yes. GTK, NQT, and the command line bit. Like 
nice. So we search for something else. There we go. What should we put in search this time? I know. We'll put in chromium. Don't mind a bit of chromium. So we search for chromium. Oh, there we go. Oh, and look at what we got there. We got iron. Iron. Nice. Now iron is a more security-based browser based on chromium. So we're going to install that. And I'll give you a quick show of that as well while we're here. So you've got two for one. You know what I mean? Easy peasy. So we're going to apply that. Let's go download 16 meg and take up 42 meg of space on your hard disk. So I've cut this bit of the video here because it's going to take too long, you know what I mean? So we wait a bit. Let's finish downloading. And now it does the installing bit. Now I've cut this bit as well. It took a bit too long. For me, anyway. So it didn't make the video too long. I would get bored, wouldn't you? So there you go. Chromium's almost installed. Five, four, three, two, one. Hurry up, I'm getting bored. Oh, here we go. There. Okay, so iron's installed. Let's come out of Synaptic. We'll go down to the menu. And we should find it in Internet. And of course, yes, it's there. So we click on iron. Make it a default browser? Well, not yet. I'm just testing it for you. Know? So we'll start with iron. Yeah, import some stuff, and off we go. Bloody super duper. And I wait a little bit. And I wait a little bit. Oh, there it goes. It doesn't do this all the time, by the way. It's just on the first boot. I don't know why it just does. And as you can see, exactly the same as Chromium. You can have all the extensions and the bookmarks and all the extras. Better than Chrome, really, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. This is their website, look. Nice. Tells you all about it. Bloody, 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 blah. If you want to get into it, download it. It should be in your repos now. And find a bit more about it. I mean, the last time I tried it, it wasn't working very well. This time, I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. So, yeah, that was out of the way. And we'll go to internet again. We'll go to the Fox. Let's see how the Fox works out. And I can tell you, it does what it says on the tin. It does foxy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, you can see, this is what we've got the downloads from. It's the holiday editions. You get GNOME, KDE, LXD, XFC, and Enlightenment. There's also an open box one as well, if, but that's not in this set of releases. So, yeah, pretty cool. Downloads are pretty quick as well, even if you're not in the United States, so that's even better. It runs really, really well on most stuff. Now, I've chosen the LXDE one. We still like LXDE, it's nice and simple. It doesn't work as, as fast as, say, Lubuntu, I would say. But I'm going to put on another machine just to make sure this machine is not about to die first. Because it's had a lot of work in its little life. I mean, it's on its third hard drive as well. <sighs> Blah, and a second lot of RAM as well. I'll burn some of that out. It gets a lot of hard work in this house. Now, anyway, end of the day, PC Linux OS is a very, 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 and I'll say again, very good alternative to the other main distros. And I really like it. And if you like LXDE, even bleeding better. So go out, download it, give it a try, and tell me what you think. Sneaky Linux going out.